Jonathan Hassler. I'm a crew chief at Team Penske for Ryan Blaney and the NASCAR Cup Series. My whole family, we were all racing at the local track on Saturday night. We had, uh, you know, five or six different carts and we're running for fun. Um, but I think I was about 13 when I decided that I was all in and, and I wanted to uh, try to make a career out of it. Chris Gabehart and I um, both grew up racing go-karts. He was kind of at Purdue while I was at Purdue. Ryan Newman was starting to come up. You saw all the success that he had with an engineering background and that was one of the things that pointed me to Purdue. While I was at Purdue, I realized there were a lot of people that um, you know, have a huge interest in motorsports uh, like myself and, and they don't necessarily know the steps that you need to build a career in motorsports. So um, yeah, we started a group there at Purdue, uh, Opportunity Motorsports, and the, the goal was just to get to local race teams to lend a hand and get their foot in the door. And there were some weekends we would just go and hang out in the shop and, and try to get the cars prepared for the next race. Certainly had a lot of fun, made a lot of good memories. Spring break one year, we all hopped in a car and, and drove to Charlotte and went and knocked on doors for a lot of different race teams. And out of that, I was able to get an internship with MB2 Motorsports. And that experience kind of opened the door to work for Team Penske and I've been there ever since. Five or six years as a Xfinity Series engineer and um, through time got promoted to be a Cup Series race engineer. And finally, you know, got the opportunity to go out and, and be a crew chief. You kind of realize at that point, I think, you know, whether you can do it on your own or not, I realized I could definitely was able to do the job and, and that I really wanted to do the job. There are a lot of different facets to the job. Um, you know, you're certainly trying to be engineering minded and make the best data driven decisions as you can, but there's also a human factor to uh, multiple different aspects of the team that you're trying to manage. For your driver, you got to make sure that he's, you know, in the best, um, you know, frame of mind he can be at all times. Outside of the car, Ryan tends to be cool and calm as can be, but uh, he certainly had times in the car where, you know, he gets overly kind of worked up and, you know, my nature is, is pretty calm and steady. So he's been able to lean on me to, to try to carry that over into the races to just kind of be cool and consistent to the end. And, you know, similarly, like I said, we've complimented each other. Green flag, the Coca-Cola 600's underway. One of my favorite races of the year, I joke with a lot of people that, uh, you know, I'd run 600 mile races every weekend if I could. I, I love the endurance part of it, kind of grinding it out through uh, a lot of different laps, a lot of different conditions. It's just a testament to how you continue to focus on making yourself better each and every week. And, and we had a really strong car. We, our pit crew executed strong start to finish and, and we were able to, to lead a lot of laps and dominate the race. So it was certainly exciting for me. Anything is capable of the world, uh, you just got to kind of put the right people together to, to make that happen. The size of Purdue and the, and the number of you know, networking opportunities was something that would you know, pay dividends in the long run um, and it definitely has.